AOC, a thief in a pretty dress. It's said that even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. And I'm not saying that AOC is the devil, but I am saying that I think she plays for his team. In a recent virtue-signaling fashion show at the Met Gala, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez showed up with a message on her dress meant to stir up a disdain for those that pay your paycheck, but a love for those who steal from it to make money for themselves, a.k.a. the political elite. But whoa, why does a former cop think he has any business talking about AOC politics or taxation? Well, I mean, I think any self-respecting citizen with more than half a brain should see what's going on here, and the more people we have calling it out, the better. Especially since taxation involves taking money from people who may very well have not offered it. In a normal people lingo, that's referred to as theft. But beyond that, don't forget that the IRS has a law enforcement arm to it, and you'd... If you want to meet them, consider not rendering unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, to borrow from the greatest man to have ever offered thoughts on the matter. This agency, if you didn't know, was responsible for apprehending Al Capone, who was uh, plenty evil in his own special and violent ways beyond just tax evasion. Nevertheless, it was the tax man that caught him. So I feel like it's all related and definitely a place where law enforcement meets culture, so I'll happily talk about it. But On to AOC. If imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, then AOC was really complimenting Joy Villa at the Met Gala when in a demonstration of total inability to be individually creative, she put a competing message of, quote, tax the rich on her dress at the Met Gala fashion event to fundraise for the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. Ironically, but not surprisingly, it cost $30,000 per ticket, $275,000 per table to attend the gala. Now, perhaps if AOC was truly walking in off the street and bamboozled her way in with a dress so stunning it fooled all of those guarding the door as though she belonged there, then maybe her message in red on the back of the dress would be considered bold, as she would be confronting the very people she was claiming (laughs) to not pay their fair share. But that's not the case here. I know it. You know it. In fact, I think we all know it. It's just that the people that want to erode our principles of government and human freedom want you to think that's not what's going on. What is really going on? Well, in a word, Marxism. A group of people created messaging that seems to sound true, tickles the ears of the weak-minded folks who think revolution rather than reform will shift the balance of power to the average person, while in reality, it only further entrenches the current power brokers into a much (laughs) deeper position of their own. Did you know that we already increased taxes on the rich and it wasn't even that long ago? In tax cuts in 2017, it left the rich paying an even greater percentage into the overall tax register that covers everything from a $19,000 a year entertainment allowance for the president down to a study on the reproductive organs of ducks. You tell me again why we need to even have more taxes, please. The reality is this. The average income in the USA is roughly $79,000 a year. If you make less than $87,000 a year, you are only paying in somewhere between 10 and 13% of the total tax revenue of the country. In other words, that leaves all people making more than $87,000 a year paying in a total of 87 to 90% of all tax revenue. So tell me, where is the inequity? In fact, if you're in the top 1% of earners, you're covering around 40% of the total tax revenue for the entire country country. For AOC and the Marxists like her, can you explain to me that if we were to truly make things fair, why taxing the so-called rich is any kind of solution to the convoluted tax code we already have? Do you think for one minute that AOC, who makes 174000 a year salary, by the way, in addition to $58 <laughs> per tax the rich sweatshirt that she has on her website to pad her political plans or the seven-figure deal she'll have after Congress. All that aside, do you think for one minute that since the rich, quote-unquote, don't get taxed enough, and she is in fact rich, that she is just volunteering an equal or greater amount of what she thinks they should be taxed, tossing that into the kitty just on principle to ensure that the rich like herself in the top 10% of wage earners are paying their, quote-unquote, fair share? Everyone that's honest knows the answer. Folks, it is a shell game for the political elite. Open your eyes and ears because you're being lied to by a woman in a pretty dress who wants to woo you in a pretty dress while stealing your money like a slick pickpocket to make more of her own.